to Narigos. Welcome to Ion Narigos. Today we want to discuss about calculation of height of tide of particular time of any port under Admiralty Tide Tables Volume 2 and 3 using their graphs. So let us first see what are the condition for using graphs on Volume 2 and 3 of Admiralty Tide Tables. First point is time difference between two successive tides to be between 5 and 7 hours. This means that if you are asked to find the tide of 3 o'clock, you will be finding in which in between which high water and low water your 3 o'clock will be coming. So the duration of this tide from that high water to the low water in which your tide, the required tide is coming, should be between 5 and 7 hours. That means the duration of the tide should be between 5 and 7 hours. Next point is if the time difference is below 5 and above 7, we need to use simple harmonic method. In that case, you will not be able to use the graphs. Next point. Tide times given on ATT are of legal time, that is local time of that place. So that is including the time zones considered and that is the local time that is given in your ATT. Next point, if in question, if you ask it to pass, earliest to pass a tide, you preferably always use, use your rising tides. If you ask it like last time to pass a tide, you use falling tide. And the last point is, for volume 2 and 3, you have the common graph at the beginning of volume for all ports under that volume. Only for volume 1, you have specific graphs for specific standard ports. So for volume 2 and 3, you have a common graph. So let us solve an example. Today, we are considering Port Boston. So the question is, calculate height of tide at 0400 at Boston on 1st January 1992. So what we need to do is, we have to refer to Admiralty Tide Tables. Let's do it. So this is volume 2 and you need to find Boston. In the index, you will be not be saying that uh, it is from volume 2, you will have to find. You can check in the indexes of volume 1, volume 2 and volume 3 and you will get where, where you will get. But that will be the volume you need to use. So here you see, this is Boston USA and page number 48. Let's go. Let's go to page number 48. So this is US Atlantic Coast, Boston and you can see the graph here the beginning of volume this is a common graph which can be used for all the standard ports inside this volume so let's go to page number 48 this is USA South Coast Boston and you see here it's January February March April and the time zone is 050 that's included already so you don't need to bother about that the time given will be your local time so you're asked to find the tide on 1st Jan 1992 so first jam the tides are 0159.4, 0 0822, 3.1, 1450.1 and 21.02. We are asked to find the tide at 0400 hours. Since it's asked at 0400 hours, it's coming in between 0159 and 0822. So let's take these two tides, this high high water and low water, low water and high water. So let's write down this there, 0159.4 and 0822, 3.1. Zero one five nine. The height is zero point four, and the next one is we need to find at four zero four zero zero height. This is what we need to find, and it's coming in between next. 0822 and the height is 3.1 so from this we need to write what is the duration of the height height that is the time difference between this low water and this high water that is 0822 minus 0159 that is 0, 06 hours and 23 minutes 
and this is what we need for this graph so now let's go into go into the graph this is the graph you will be using to solve this problem in this you have the high waters here you have the low waters and you have two scales 0 2 4 6 8 and 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you can use any of the graph preferably you will use the small scale chart so you will be having less errors so better use is 0 1 2 3 4 and in this graph you have these durational tides these are the duration of your tide 5 hour 6 hour and 7 hour so now what problem says what is the this middle one is your high water so your high water time is 0 8 2 2 so you can write it out here and So okay, so now we have the high water time 0 to 2 hours. So next thing what we need to do is we need to get the low water and high water time in which between your time is coming. So that is 0 0159 and the height is 0 0.4 and 0 0822 3.1. We need this value 0 0.4 and 3.1. So for the low water it's 0 0.4 and for the high water it's 3.1. So this is low water that is 0 0.4 and high water is 3.1 so we need to draw a line from here that is 0 0.4 to 3.1 joining so this is the line what we need to draw first next thing what we need to do is we need to know how much hours of a particular time is from before the high water or after the high water this is like high water plus 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, 4 hour similarly minus 1 hour, minus 2 hour, minus 3 hour, minus 4 hour so our required time is 0, 4, 0, 0 so that is before high water so the high water is 0, 8, 2, 2 so that minus 1 hour means 0, 7, 2, 2 0, 6, 2, 2 0, 5, 2, 2 0, 4, 2, 2 so that minus 4 hour come to 0, 4, 2, 2 and you have 20 minutes so that this line so from this point, that is your point of 4 o'clock, what you need to do is, you need to show a vertical line from your 4 hours 20 minutes, the vertical line from here to the top, that's it. So next what you need to do is, you need to, I told you already this is 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hour duration. So you already calculated what is duration of time that is 6 hours 23 minutes. So that will be coming in between 6 hours and 7 hours. So how are you going to calculate that? So that you need to get the length of this one. Now the graph here. You need to get the length of this one. You can just calculate how much is this one coming from here till here. Suppose if it's coming that distance is on your scale is 3.5 cm that is for 16 minutes one hour. That is again a range. So what we need is we need for 23 minutes that is 6 hour 23 minutes. 23 minutes so that will be equal to 3.5 5 divided by 60 whole multiplied by 23 and will be coming around 3.5 divided by 60 into 23 and 1.342 is 1.342 centimeters. So from here you can measure 1.342 and you will get a point. From that point, you need to draw a line that is parallel to the bottom line, meeting this line. From that point, either you can go up or you can come down, since it is near, near, so you can just come down. Where it meet, the line should be perpendicular. So this is the height of tide, that is, this is your height of tide for that particular time for that particular that height is 
one meter. So we got the value. So the height of tide height zero four zero zero hours and Boston first gen nineteen ninety two is equal to one point one meter. So this is answer. This is how you do the calculations using the graphs of two and three and find height of tide of a specific time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you understand if any doubts you can write on the comments we will get to you. I will be doing more videos if you have any suggestions on what videos you want you can write it on comments. Thank you. Keep subscribing to the channel and supporting us. Have a good day. Thank you.